Hey guys, so if you did not join my live meets this morning, I've made this video specifically for you to watch. Okay, so directions are to highlight and underline your keywords and numbers, and then you're going to highlight your answer choice in yellow. So like, for instance, if this was my answer, I need to hi highlight it yellow, and that's this little thing right here. So as you go through and pick your answers, you need to make sure you are highlighting them as well. So let's get started. Mary works three hours on Monday, four hours on Wednesday, and eight hours on Saturday. If she gets paid $7.50 every hour, which expression would help Mary solve how much money she's going to make in all? So underline the numbers. And these problems, we're not having to physically get an answer. We're not looking for an answer here. We're just trying to figure out what we would do to solve this problem if we were looking for an answer. All right, in all is a good keyword. Um, so let's see. I work, or Mary's working three hours, four hours, eight hours. So I got to figure out how much she's working in all so i would need to look where somebody is adding three and four and eight those hours she worked together and then if i get 75 or seven dollars and fifty cents every hour that means i need to be multiplying so you need to be looking for an answer where you see them adding together the hours she works and multiplying it by how many out or how much money she makes in each hour. All right, Taylor went to the store and purchased a 35 foot water hose and a 50 foot water hose. The 35 foot water hose cost $16.99. The 50 foot water hose costs two times that amount. Which expression can Taylor use to determine how much money he will spend on both water hoses? All right, big keyword I see here is times. What is times tell me I'm doing? I'm multiplying. Okay, so I know that this one costs $16.99. No matter what, something has cost $16.99. The second one tells me I need to multiply that by two. So I need to look and see where $16.99 is being multiplied by two and still adding $16.99 for the cost of the 35 foot water hose. So I'm looking for an expression that I'm multiplying and adding. I'm looking for where I'm multiplying $16.99 times two and adding $16.99 to that answer. Number three, Miss Patterson bought th 13 bagels. She kept four of them to herself. I'm keeping that one. Keeping four. I ain't going to share those. And she shared equally the rest between her three family members. So if I share equally, I know that's a key word. Shared and equally means I need to divide. If I keep something for myself, I'm going to be subtracting. So I need to look for an equation that is taking 13 and subtracting four and then sharing equally, dividing by three. Enrique has 136 Pokemon cards. He gave away 15 to each of his three friends. Okay, underlining, oop, underlining my numbers, highlighting keywords, gave away. What does give away mean? If I give something away, am I adding or subtracting? Subtracting. So I know I'm looking for something to do with subtraction. And it says he gave 15 to each of his three friends. So that means one friend got 15, one friend got 15, one friend got 15. So I need to be looking for an equation where I am taking 136 Pokemon cards and subtracting them from 15 times three. Remember that word each means multiply or divide. In this case, it means multiply. 
So 136 Pokemon cards minus 15 times 3. Juana has 11 rocks in her collection. If she collects three rocks every day for a week, which expression represents the amount of rocks Juana will have at the end of the week? Okay, let's highlight some key words. She collects three rocks every day for a week. How many will she have in her collection? How many is a good keyword? Okay, somebody talking about a week. What does a week mean? How long is a week? A week is seven days. So she already has 11 rocks. But every day for a week, for seven days, she's going to get three more rocks. So I'm looking for something where I already have 11 rocks and I'm adding to it three rocks. Every day for a week for seven days. Miss Kelly ordered five packs of Expo markers and five erasers for the five fifth grade teachers. Whoa, that's a lot of fives. Which expression represents the total number of supplies Miss Kelly bought? So, total number, total tells me I'm doing what? Adding or multiplying. Good, good, good. I totally didn't highlight. Okay. Take a look. Take a look. Okay. Ms. Kelly's ordered five packs of Expo markers and five erasers for five teachers. Okay. So that means the five, we'll go ahead. The five fifth grade teachers are Ms. Patterson, Ms. O'Neill, Ms. Falls, Ms. Fling, and Ms. Hawksworth. So there's our five teachers. I'm going to get five Expo markers and five erasers. Miss Ke or Miss Falls is going to get five Expo markers and five erasers. So each teacher is getting a total of 10 things. I'm going to get five Expo markers and five erasers. So that's a total of 10 things I'm getting. If she's bought each teacher 10 items, how am I going to figure out how many items she bought for the whole fifth grade, the whole five teachers? So think of it like that. Each teacher is getting 10 items. And she bought 10 items for five teachers. Luke took a trip to the zoo. Oh, sorry. Luke took three trips to the zoo. And each time at the zoo, he saw 15 lines. He also saw seven monkeys on his last visit. Which expression represents the number of animals Luke saw at the zoo? I've underlined my numbers. Let's look. Luke took three trips to the zoo and each time, each means what? Multiply or divide. He also saw seven monkeys, which expression shows the number of, okay. So each means multiply. So he went to the zoo three times. On his first trip, he saw 15 lines. On his second trip, he saw 15 lines. On his third trip, he saw 15 lines. So what am I need to do here? I need to be multiplying. I need to do something with 3 times 15. The last time he went, he saw 7 monkeys. So I need to do what? I need to add 7 more in. So I'm looking for something that says 3 times 15. Oops, sorry. 3 times 15 plus those 7 monkeys. So which, rep or which expression represents that? And our last one. Christopher packed 15 big boxes and 12 small boxes. The big boxes weighed 25 pounds. The little boxes weighed 15 pounds. Which expression could be used to solve how many, how many pounds Christopher packaged in all? Woo. Okay. So let's look at some keywords. Um, so every box... So, it, so 15 boxes, they each weighed 25 pounds. So one box is 25, one box is 25, one box is 25, so on and so on and so on. So I need to multiply. I got to figure out how many pounds the big boxes cost. And then I need to figure out how many pounds the little boxes were. So he had 12 small ones, and each small one was 15 pounds. So once I figure out how many, how much pounds the big one is and how many pounds the little one is, what do I need to figure out how many pounds he has in all? What does in all tell me I'm doing? Oh, there's my keyword, in all. 
It means to add. So I need to look for a problem that is trying to figure out what 15 times 25 is, what 12 times 15 is, and adding those totals together. Which expression would help me solve that? All right, guys. I'm sorry if you could not join me this morning live. I miss you a ton. Um, I will be posting a video tomorrow to help you with your project. I hope you have a wonderful day. Miss you all so much.